Hello, I'm Hilma Manessis, the CEO of Catholic Charities. I'm Ellen Hammerly, Vice President of Client Services at Catholic Charities. My name is Patty Hong, and I'm the Chief Technology and Innovation Officer here at Catholic Charities. I'm Mary Rose Pachuco, Chief Counsel of Catholic Charities San Francisco and the Center for Immigration Legal and Support Services. My name is Sarah Burton, and I am the Catholic Charities Client Services Director of the Youth Clinical Division, and I oversee our short-term residential therapeutic programs in San Francisco and San Rafael, our San Francisco Boys and Girls Home, and St. Vincent's School for Boys. During this Women's History Month of 2021, I want to recognize and remember Shirley Anita Hill Chisholm. She was the first African-American woman in Congress in 1968 and the first woman and African-American to seek the nomination for president of the United States. Discrimination didn't stop her. I remember her because she was a catalyst of change and that's exactly what she wanted. She wanted to be remembered as a woman who dared to be a catalyst of change. I believe women are invaluable, not only to a family system, but to our culture, our society. Um, and we really um, serve as the kind of North Star, if you will, for guiding the world forward. A historic figure that I greatly admire. Um, it is um, Eleanor Roosevelt. Um, most of you know her as one of our uh, preeminent uh, first ladies. She was very observant in that she had incredible empathy and compassion for people of all backgrounds, and she fought for the rights of everyone. The First Lady, you know, she was an advocate for women, for child welfare, for equal rights and anti-discrimination. The thing I love about her is that she exemplified courage to do the right thing, even if it wasn't popular thinking. You know, she always fought with grace and dignity. The first woman who inspired me, and it may sound cliche, but is my mom. I view life through an immigrant's lens because I'm the daughter of immigrants. And my mom was an immigrant from Italy and always through her deeds, not her words, always inspired me and taught me about humility, dignity, and grace. One of the most influential women in my life growing up was my aunt. She was an engineer. She started her career in aeronautics and then went to the State Department working for the Foreign Service, building security systems for embassies. And she was a really strong woman. And, and she had to be because it was a very male dominated feel, field. I mean, engineering is today and even more so 40 years ago. And it was so powerful to have this strong woman in my life that said, what are you passionate about? What do you want to do? And what's the path that you want to follow? And yet it brought me to this amazing, amazing space because there was a woman who dared to dream, dared to be different and taught me her niece that I could be too.